Hey there, it's Brooks Duncan here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to talk about creating file links, share links in sync.com. Now sync.com is a Dropbox-like service. The benefits are there's more encryption and the service is based outside of the United States, which is important for some people. So up to this point, you've only been able to create folders that are shared, but sync.com has just released the ability to link to individual files, which is great. So here's how it works. So let's say I want to share this file with somebody. There's a grayed out link icon and I'm going to click here. And you can see it's created this long URL for me. And how that works is I can just copy this. And then let's say I'm going to email it to myself or I can send it however I want, iMessage, text message, whatever. And I will send this link to the recipient and let's see what they see. All right, so I'm here in email and you can see I've sent myself this link. And when I click on it, let's see what happens here. And you can see it's downloading the file, downloading the file. And if I want to download it to my desktop, I can just hit download and I'm good to go. So that's great. That's a really easy, simple way to share a file that's in your sync.com account. But you can make things a little more secure as well. So let's flip back to sync.com. Okay, we're back in sync.com and let's click this little link again. So anyone we send this link to, and you know, it's pretty secure. No, it's pretty unlikely someone's ever going to guess that URL. But if you want it to be extra safe, what you can do is you can click uncheck this button here, which says include the password in the link. And this is nice because you can now send somebody this link and then send them this big, long, crazy password separately so that it, it arrives in two pieces. So not only would somebody have to get a hold of this link, but they would have to get a hold of this password as well. So you, what you could do is you could email them this and text them this, or you know however you want to do it. It's just a way to think, make things a little more secure. When you're done with sharing this file, you don't want to share it anymore. You just need to click delete this link. And now this file is not shared anymore. So that's sharing individual files with sync.com. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. And if you want to see more of these type of videos in the future, more helpful tips, just subscribe to the DocumentSnap channel and they'll come right to you. Thanks so much.